Since January, 34-year-old Simon Chan has been studying in the Railway Engineering Advanced Diploma Program at the MTR Academy part-time. He goes to school two days a week, learning railway engineering theories and practical skills. The MTR is expanding rapidly in Hong Kong. The new South Island Line uses a self-driving system. It is very interesting to me. A number of large railway projects, such as the guangzhou shenzhen hong Kong Express Rail Link, have also been launched in Hong Kong in recent years. The rail system in Hong Kong is gigantic. I want to learn more about it. Mr. Chan works as an information technology assistant manager in a bank. He joined the IT industry after graduating university and has worked as an IT professional for nearly a decade. He said he joined the MTR program so he can change professions in the future. How many decades are there in a lifetime? I often think about this question. I want to change professions before it is too late. IT is used not only in the banking sector, but also the railway industry. The design, maintenance and development of railway communication, payment and passenger volume calculation systems are all possible future careers I can consider. The establishment of the MTR Academy was an initiative announced in the 2016 policy address to train railway professionals and raise the quality of local and overseas railway services. In November, the Academy officially opened and launched the Railway Engineering Advanced Diploma as its first two-year part-time program. It offers both theoretical and practical training. The practical training includes job attachments, site visits, and face-to-face -face meetings with MTR staff. 32 students have enrolled in the program in the first cohort. Some of them, like Neo Lam, are MTR staff. With an associate degree in physical education, Mr. Lam joined the MTR in 2013. He now works as a depot operation controller. He said completing the academy's specialized program will boost his career prospects at the MTR. At the beginning of our lessons, we study basic physics to refresh our electrical knowledge learned at secondary school. Many things in the railway system, including railway track and compartment control, are related to electric circuits. We also learn about the entire power supply system and the signal system to gain deeper knowledge in rail management and operation. The Academy boasts state-of-the-art training facilities, including station communication and fare collection system mock-ups for students to gain hands-on experience. While the advanced diploma programs are aimed at professionals or those who want to join the railway industry, the Academy also offers short-term courses for the general public. Railway 101 is one of the courses teaching basic railway knowledge. The short courses are proving popular, attracting 200 participants so far. MTR Academy President Morris Chung said the facility is supported by the government, academia and professional bodies, which is conducive to the industry's long-term development in Hong Kong. MTR Academy is set up to train more railway tenants in Hong Kong and you know, in the industry worldwide. As we know, there are a lot of uh, Metro projects are coming in Hong Kong in the coming decades. And equally, in the mainland of China and the rest of the world, there are a number of projects that are coming on. There's a very huge demand for a railway experts and tenants. The Railway Engineering Advanced Diploma Program has been accredited by the Hong Kong Council for Accreditation of Academic and Vocational Qualifications. The next round of applications will open in June.